Ladies, gentlemen, knuckleheads of Fighters Rep Nation, I'm here again with El Gallo Negro, Gerald Washington, title contender. Man, you look like you weren't even in a fight. Yeah, man. Uh, you know what? It, it wasn't. It wasn't too much of a of a fight, man. It was just. It was just a matter of that that good shot that he landed. You know? Yeah. And it was. Um, but I wasn't taking much punishment throughout the fight. But it was. It was a great experience, man. I, I can't wait to get back. You sure weren't. Let me tell you. Um, I want to say that you held your own in there, but I feel like, to be honest, you more than held your own in there. Uh, I think the broadcasters agree. You were up until that uh, that right hook landed. Yeah. And uh, you're right here, back in the gym. Yeah. Uh, what does this mean? I mean, are you, you're right back into it? You're I'm training excited, again? man. You know, I got the feel that I got a taste for it. You know what I'm saying? I got to be on the highest level to fight for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World against an undefeated guy with a tremendous knockout ratio. And, uh, man, I was standing right there in, 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 in the lion's pit, man. It was, it was an awesome experience, man. It was something that I needed for my for my career man for my growth you know it's gonna help me it's gonna help propel me you know to, to the next part of my life man and my part of my career how would you compare it to being able to compete in the rose bowls that you were in oh man i mean it, it i mean those, those are all great experiences you know but man it's not you going in there by yourself yeah, like it's the heavyweight yeah. champion of the world you know this is like man it, it, it's nothing like it you know what i mean like all the things they say if you can do 50 percent of what you can do in the gym then you're gonna be good like when i was in there under the big lights man it was just like like i like i felt comfortable i was getting more and more comfortable as the rounds were going like i was starting to i was starting to get loose i was like i'm standing in front of deontay water with my block you know i'm blocking his shots like this i'm standing with, with one hand down i must be feeling pretty good i don't yeah, know how yeah. big his right hand is but um but yeah man i was just i was starting to feel good man but he all credit to him on his part, man. He, he 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 set it up. He set up a nice a nice shot, man. And he was able to kind of pin my hand down and boom, yeah. come over across the top, man. And and, and that, that was the start of it all. I'll be honest. I was surprised by how comfortable you were in there, considering that you had basically half the professional experience yeah. he had. Um, but I kind of want to take you back through the entire experience again. Yeah. I was here about a month and a half ago, yeah. not even. And at that time, I mean, you were looking in shape. You were sparring with Big Dom, Dominic Brazil, and, and Avery Gibson was here. You guys were sparring. And I was talking to you, and I was asking you, hey, any fights coming up? What's going on? Yeah. And you were like, man, you were kind of like frustrated but yeah. humorous about it, yeah. you know, lighthearted about it. You were like, man, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Hopefully something big is coming. Yeah. I leave this place, and like less than maybe two weeks later, they, they tell you you're getting a shot at Deontay yeah. Wilder. What went through your head, man? Oh, what man, went through it your was head? Just like, you know, it was just like, man, you know, it's an opportunity of a lifetime. You know, this is like, this is some big boy stuff right here, and I, you know, I had to jump on it. You know, I was excited for the opportunity. Uh, we knew we could we could compete up there. We, it, it was just a, it was just the timing was a little was a little tight for us. We had maybe like 25 days. You know, and like I said, we stay in shape, we stay ready, we stay in the gym and stuff, man. But to prepare for a heavyweight title fight, you might you might want a little more time. And, um, but yeah, man, it was a it was it was a great opportunity. You know what I'm saying? It just it was it was an awesome experience, and uh, I'm very grateful, man. So you know, just a few weeks to train. Obviously, you were ready. You told me you were ready, but you weren't specifically ready yeah. for Wilder. I mean, you weren't sure what was coming up. So yeah. I mean, that's another thing that you kind of had going against you, and you were going into hostile territory. You know, how did it feel? To be fighting in his hometown on top of having you know gone in on short notice having yeah, less it was, experience it was deep. the whole experience was deep man it was just like you know <laughs> <laughs> like, throw me out there let's see what you can do and it was like and i'm cool with that you know what i'm saying i embrace i embrace that you know because uh man I, I was right there in the fight man i was right there in the fight i was feeling good man Deontay Wilder's a knockout puncher. He, he, he coming with a great shot, you know. He yeah. coming with a great shot, and that's what happens in the sport of boxing. You get hit. You know, I did a pretty good job avoiding it for a little while, but it, hey, he caught me with it, man. He caught me with it before I could catch him with it, and uh, and, 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 that's, and that's how the story goes. You know, I knew it was going to be a hell of a fight, um, despite all these things that were basically against you, because you were ready. You're a big, strong guy. He hadn't fought. I don't think he'd fought anyone as big and strong as you and athletic and coordinated. 
And at the same time, when I saw you emotional in that press conference, I was like, man, my dude is feeling it. He wants to go in there and he wants to show people what it's about, you know. Um, how were you feeling at that press conference, man? Man, you know, it's just a, it was just a, you know, just me looking back at my life, you know what I'm saying? And just, it was just, you know, it was a proud moment for me, you know, like, man, I've been through a lot, you know what I'm no. saying? I've been against all odds, you know, all the way through, man. And it's just like, for me to be there, you know, I really feel blessed, you know, God has blessed me. And, you know, and he continues to bless me when I'm up and when I'm down. You know, it's not, it's not always, it doesn't always go the way that you plan it. It's on God's time. And, and I, and I know that, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, 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 I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be healthy and strong. My, my, you know, I didn't get, I didn't get beat up. Man, it's just, it's just a matter of just, you know, yeah. just, 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 just tweaking a few things. And, and like I said, like, it's not that I didn't have the skills. It's just all, under all that, under all that, you know, all that light, all that pressure, all that, you know what I'm saying? It's deep, man. So you gotta go, you gotta be in there and feel it. And okay, like, oh, this is what it is. But man, I feel it. I feel, yeah. I feel what it is. Yeah. And, I, and I know it belongs. In the ring, you guys were fighting. PBC broadcasters had you up. Um, immediately, you were getting that jab off. That jab looked really strong, Gerald. Yeah. You had a really strong jab going on in there. You were doing some tremendous body work. You were landing some nice body shots. He wasn't getting off at all. I mean, what was going through your mind as the fight was progressing? You know, it was, it was starting to trip me out. I got a little anxious because of that. I was yeah. like, yo. I was like, what? I was like, I'm waiting for this dude. Like, <laughs> like I, like, I, I kind of needed him to punch. You know, I, I like him for, to punch, you know what I'm saying? So I can feed off of it. I can do my counters. I yeah. can do my, I can do my stuff. I kind of want to catch the shot. You know, I want. I like I like when, when it's back and forth. You know what I mean? It was kind of... I don't say it was freaking me out, but it was just like I was starting to... It's like a one-way street for a yeah, while. Like, what's going on here? You know, I started thinking. I started getting a little... I got a little anxious, but uh, but it's cool, man. It's experience that you need. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Now yeah. I know, man. It don't matter, man. Just take your time yeah. in there. You know, relax. Boom. Just get... You know, I started... I started, uh, started getting a little frisky in there, man. I, I could just keep yeah. my cool. You know, let it let it go for a little while. And then it would, it would settle into the fight a lot better. I think it was the second or third round. He seemed to be just throwing one punch at a time. Yeah. And he seemed to be really going for that right hook. I yeah. mean, it seemed like that's what he was out there to land. Yeah. I think it was the second or third round. You guys exchanged right hooks. Yeah. You both kind of missed. And then you threw a left hook behind it. You yeah. followed up with a left hook. I feel like it caught him off guard. I don't know if it buzzed him. I don't know if it just knocked him off balance. Do you remember that sequence? And do you feel I, I, like you hurt him at all in that fight? Yeah, I, I caught him a couple of times, but I, but I threw one check hook and I tried to come over the top um, afterwards. I went boom, and he kind of went down and, and, and went in his thing, and I went over the you know I tried to go over the top, and um, and then uh, yeah, man. I, but in in that moment, I remember saying, like, ooh, okay, maybe I'm gonna try to counter punch him. But I was gonna try something different because I was just stepping to him, stepping to him, stepping to him, and. Uh, yeah, man, I was just like, you know, all that stuff is running through your yeah, mind. It's crazy, yeah. man. Like, you're trying to figure it out. You're trying to figure out the puzzle. You know, you're trying to work it all out, man. But it's just, it's, it's a process, man. It's a process. So the finishing sequence, you know, I'm going to tell you how I saw it. I felt like um, your hand was out there. His hand was out there. They kind of tangled up. It looked like you might have thought about go going in perhaps for a for a clinch. Mm -hmm. There may have been a little lapse there in defense. He came oh, over the top with the right hand. Yeah. Um, is that how it happened or, or how would you how would I you think explain he it? With a jab, boom, I was circling. Uh, he with a jab, I went back the other way and, and I had my hand out. He just kinda I think he jabbed or something and he, but he kinda like locked his arm in place and he was able to come in with a good right hand over the yeah. top and just and, 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 and then and then he came back with the hook. And I blocked the hook. I blocked the hook, boom, and I fell over. So in my mind, I was like, and I was like, no, nah, I got pushed over. You know, that's why I hopped up so fast. Yeah, yeah. You know? I hopped up so fast, and I was like, I was okay. And then, um, yeah, man. And then, uh, and then he came. I was like, all right, let's go. It's time to go. You know? <laughs> and then uh, you know, we start swinging. We start swinging. Yeah, he came yeah. with a couple of shots. The ref jumped in. Kind of fun. Like it was like, okay. And then, then he jumped back out. And then, and then that was kind of like, it kind of like caused a little pause in that. And then, uh, then Yanto, uh, was just, he was just working, man. He was working, and then the, then the ref jumped all the way back in. Now, do you think it was a premature stoppage? Were you hurt, or could you have kept on going? Uh, I was, I was he, he stunned me. He definitely stunned me. Yeah. And, uh, but I, I, I was still, like, in the, in the beginning part, I was still, I was still, 
cool to go. And then, uh, nah, that, that was just a little, that was a little funny stuff. But, but hey, man, like I said, he, he came in with that good, that yeah. first right hand. That, that's what set it off. That's what I needed to take out of the equation. That's what I needed to prevent. And none, none of that would even happen. Yeah, I mean, we wouldn't even have been there. And uh, credit to him, man. So reflecting back on it. What would you do different? I mean, I, I feel like you're never going to, if you go back into that situation, you're not going to be at the disadvantage you were in this one, yeah. considering the short notice, yeah. considering going into the belly of the beast in hostile territory, considering you've never had uh, experience basically yeah. at that level. Yeah. But what, reflecting on it now in hindsight, what would you what would you change? Uh, what kind of refinements would you make? Uh, me, right now, I want to get a couple fights. You know, I want to get a couple good fights. And I want to get them, you know, on, on that stage and just and just get comfortable because I know I can fight. You know, I got I know I got the skills, I got the talent, I got the power, I got the speed, I got it all. I just I need to I need to I need to own those skills underneath those lights. You know what I'm saying? And just and just be cool in there, man. That way I can just be myself. The, the guy that I am in the gym, I want to be that guy in the ring. And if I could do that, I'm I'm I'm, I'm great, baby. Man, I I can't do anything but agree on that one. Incredible performance. I, I really think you put yourself up there in the list of serious contenders with that performance because I felt like you were winning. Yeah. I think I'm in the majority when I say that, um, not being biased at all, just objectively speaking. I felt like you were winning that fight. I think the Showtime broadcasters had you shutting him out up until that point. I think the judges may have had him up, but, you know, yeah, ho hometown possibly, funny yeah. business. But, uh, I but thought, yeah, man, my jab, man, I felt good with my jab. That jab, you know, man. And, and I, and I, and I, and, and I could do so much more with it. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna just look on just working on this thing and just master it, man, getting it down real good and then following up with the big boy. That jab was very, very strong. 1.76, they were saying 1.76 million views on PBC. How do you feel about uh, that right, kind of exposure? Well, yeah. It was, it was it was amazing, you know. I got a lot of fans, man. People got to see who I am yeah. as a person, as a man. And, you know, in uh, all respect to Deontay Wilder and, and the Bomb Squad team, man, they, they, they're they're uh, this was a great show, man. It was a great show. It, I got I got to go against the biggest baddest yeah. dude in the game. You know what I'm saying? So I'm uh I'm uh. Yeah. Your confidence, yeah, I, I, your confidence has probably gone I, yeah, up a hundred percent. Yeah, definitely, man. You know, and I know, I know, I've done that to people. You know, yeah. I, I, I've knocked people out, so I know what it is. You know, what yeah. I'm saying I had guys jump in. And I was like, hey, it's always better to stop a fight early than late. You know, what yeah. I mean? you never want to see a guy get hurt. I didn't get hurt. I felt great, and I'm ready to get back in action. And if you could have anyone next, who would it be? Uh, man, I, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look, sit down with my team and look at that. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. not, uh, I'm not like hunting for anybody. Yeah. I just know I want to get some good. Some good fights, some nice competition, and just you know, just just increase that experience, man. That's the biggest part of this game. You need that. You need that, and, and uh, that's what I need to work on. Well, Gallo, you're back in the gym. I know you're a busy man. You're also studying, doing your yeah. thing. So uh, I'm gonna let you go. But I really appreciate your Thank time, you, man. Appreciate you, man. Hell of a fight. We look forward to seeing you Thank soon, you, man. Thank All you, right, man. Very much.